Hello, my name is Jeroen Groenendijk, I'm product specialist at Pioneer and today we are at ADE. And one of the new things we're going to show you is XTJ700. It's our latest player and it's got all the features that you know of the XTJ1000. Check that video. What you see here on the XTJ700 is a full-size touchscreen panel. It's got the rotary dial that you know of the CDJ2000 um, and all the basic controls that you're already familiar with. This is your full-size control. You can browse. Like, like, like you know how to browse it, uh, you can browse by genres, but one of the cool things is, here's the search, and the search has a full-size QWERTY keyboard. XTJ700 also features a full Pro DJ Link system, so this way you can check the Link system. We are now playing the tracks from the USB of the other device. This is where you can see what's currently uh, being played. And it's just got a full Pro DJ Link system, so you can hook it up with CDJ2000, CDJ900, XDJ1000, and now also XDJ700. One trick people could do is to look on the USB key that's in the other player and find tracks that are, let's say, within a certain pitch range. So what I now see in my display is all tracks on the, that are available on the USB key that, fell, that fall within 1% pitch offset from the track that's currently playing. The bottom section of the screen, what do we see here? Obviously you have the master and the sync feature that you know from all our players. Within the waveform you see this red stripe, there's an active loop. This loop will be activated when the player reaches that playing address. When you go to the left you see your auto queue and your time mode which used to be a hardware button but on the XJ700 it's, it's a touchscreen button. On the left you see the slip, everybody possibly already knows the slip. You don't see the screen change. Why not? Because slip is one of the performance features. So you need to activate that, that screen. We'll get back to that in a bit. Furthermore, new is the vinyl break. The vinyl break is, it simulates the stopping of a turntable in a quarter turn of the platter. You should actually hear that. What does it do? This in itself is already fun, but when you combine it with the slip feature, we're going to have a lot of fun, because the track plays in the background. So the top section is the performance section of the screen. This is where you do all your, your real actions, other than you're just playing control. One new thing is on the left is REV, which basically means the reverse button. One fun thing to get this working all the times perfect is activating slip, press play, reverse goes back 8 beats and then it goes forward automatically when you, when you see the yellow stripe. Yellow stripe means slip mode is on. Beat loop get a loop of a certain length. This is a 4 beat loop and now it, it's not snapped on the beat grid. Why? Because you can turn on quantize. When you go back to performance mode, exit this loop and when I create a new loop it will snap automatically on the beat grid. This is how you get the perfect 4 bar loop. You can also shorten it by hand and you see the delay in the buttons, the delay is caused because it waits until the next beat grid and then it will adjust the loop length. You could also halfen it or double it and exit loop. Below that is just the hot cue section. Hot cue section is pretty simple. You press record, then you are going to record the new loops. Quantize is still on, so everything will be snapped to the beat grid. When I record, all my hot cues, it will automatically adjust the timing to the beat grid. Recalling the hot cues, you just press the call button and now you can trigger them. You see a certain delay and again it's waiting for the next beat grid marker to pass. When you don't want it, press quantize and now you can press as fast as you want. 
One of the very special things is not on the top side of the player, but on the bottom side, because you see the feet can be taken off. And this way, the height of the unit is a lot less. So it's the perfect match next to a controller to have as an additional third deck. Okay guys, that's it. That was my very short rundown of all the features of XEJ700. Um, there's only one thing left. You need to check it out. Go to Buckshot.